Hi, my name is Ray Holly, and I am a graduate student at Rice University working with Professor Vicky Yao. Today, I am glad to be here to share my recent research, pain cancer characterization of microbiome signatures. In this study, we identify cancer-associated microbes and uh, try to systematically analyze those microbiome into few key um, microbial signatures, which are associated with the cancer types. So why we, need, why we want to study the cancer-associated microbiome is because in the recent research, we find that those microbes have interplays between the tumor cells and the microbes. And some of the microbes actually help uh, the tumor cells through like they will digest the chemotherapeutic drugs or uh, some of micro attached to, to the tumor cells and inhibits the apoptosis. So um, identification of those microbes become an important job for this field. So in this study, we, we used the RNA sequencing data from the cancer genome atlas and remove the human reads and unmap, uh, use the unmap reads for metagenomic classification. Then we get us the microbial compositions metrics. Then we did a serious uh, data preprocessing, including normalization, decontamination, feature selection, and transformation. Here, I want to introduce our transformation method called observed frequency, which is a newly devised methods to deal with the low abundance issues. So you can imagine like there is a microbe, uh, which is pretty important for certain cancer type, but they has low abundance. For example, the HPV, they are not the dominant species, but they are so important for the cervical cancer. So we devise these also frequency methods, not only consider the relative abundance, but also the ratio across sample. Through this method, we can amplify those low abundance information to relative higher uh, information than before. After we got the observed frequency metrics, then we can start to decompose these high dimension data into uh, key important uh, microbial signatures using the semi-supervised non-active metric factorization. So semi-supervised MNF uh, is the uh, abbreviation of the non-negative metric factorization. So what it is is that it not only decompose the microbial um, abundance metrics, but also we can integrate the samples information such as the cancer type or sex and to do the metrics factorization process. However, here we need to decide the number of signatures. To do so, we apply the cross-validation to do a quickly scanning for, the, for our number of signatures. And here we decide to use the K equals, or number of signatures equals to 55 has the minimum mean square error. So after we did the uh, semi-supervised MMF, we can get the prevalence metrics. Actually, it's our edge matrix. And we summarize the edge matrix by their cancer types, as you can see in the heat map in the row-wise directions. And here, I want to point out several uh, interesting signatures, such as signature 31, which is highly associated with the rectum cancer, and the signature 26 is associated with the colon cancer, and 13 is our cervical cancer, and uh, signature two is our liver cancer. And we later we will dive into those signatures. And moreover, you can up you can see there our cancer types are clustered uh, tightly together like uh, colon and rectum cancer and also uh, 
ovarian, cervical, and uterine cancer types are grouped together because they have very similar microbial signatures. At the same time, it also informs that they have similar microbiome composition. And let's dive into those signatures. And as you can see here, the signature two is from our liver cancer and the top one virus is the auto HIPAA DNA virus, which we have already known that they are highly associated with the liver cancer. And for the signature 13 in cervical cancer, the top one is our HPV viruses. And signature two and the signature 13 actually only identify when we use the observed frequency transformation methods. If we only use the relative abundance information, we are not able to identify those interesting viruses in our signature. And for the uh, microbes in signature 26 and 31, they are common colorectal cancer associated microbes. And we use those signatures to do more analysis such as tracking their tissue origin using the source tracker too. And as you can see in the signature 26 and 31 in the hemat here, we can find out that they are highly associated with the retin column fixes um, those tissues. And moreover, we did a series of survival analyses. And here we show an example, the signature 16 in liver cancer is significantly associated with the survival. And the right-hand side, the bar plot shows the top 10 microbes in these signatures. So overall, in this research, we not only identify those cancer-associated microbes, but also characterization of those cancer-associated microbial signatures. And uh, we apply those uh, signatures to study the biological applications, such as uh, such as survival analyses and predict their uh, tissue origin. And thank for your listening, and hope you enjoy my presentation. Thank you.